Hey guys, so today I'm going to be installing this Level Mate Pro leveling system that you use uh, with your smartphone with an app there. And it uh, helps you get your uh, camper or trailer, whatever tra trailer you got, level by looking at your app. So this was actually a gift given to me by Abby's dad, Steve. Uh, so Steve, thank you very much for this. This is an awesome gift. He uses it in his trailer. He's got it set up and he loves it. He, he just raves about how nice and it, how nice this is and uh, how easy it is to be able to look at your phone whenever you back into your campsite and the app will show you how far off you are side to side or front to back and uh, you know how, how far you need to raise it or lower it to get it perfectly level. So once you get this thing installed, uh, you have to take some measurements and put it into the app and uh, it's gonna calibrate itself to um, for perfectly level so right now I have our camper uh, near perfectly level as I can using just a standard uh, carpenters type level and I've got a level front to back side to side so we shouldn't have to do any leveling we're gonna get this installed and then what we'll do is our, on our next uh, trip we're gonna I'm gonna show you actually using it while we get backed in and get set up and uh, show you hopefully just how easy this thing is okay so uh, don't have to use it on a camper you can use it on any kind of trailer you want you know a concession trailer you know a food truck or uh, anything like that so anyway let's go ahead and get started on this install all right so the first thing we need to do is go ahead and open it up get it out of this packaging and then open up the app and get this thing get this thing hooked up so let me uh I don't know if it's on or not. Let's uh, let me check the manual out first. All right, yeah. So the first thing we got to do is take this cover off, install the battery, and then put the lid back on. Then we'll turn it on, and then open up the app and start getting it set up. Okay, there's our battery and then these would be the two mounting screws they give you to mount it so let's go ahead and get this battery installed so it does use a cr2032 type of battery all right then we'll uh, put our cover back on that should be it yep Level Mate Pro Connect. Okay, so it's there. All right, I finally got it to connect there. So the first thing we got to do is enter the width of the trailer from outside to outside of the tires in inches, and then enter the length of the trailer from center of rear wheel to the jack. So I'm gonna go take those measurements and we'll put those in. All right, so we're doing center of the rear axle right there approximate. And I know this isn't exact science right here, but we're doing approximate. So about there to the center of the jack, I'm just going to call it 21 foot or 252 inches. So see where you can where you can see this. Yep. Yeah, 252. Done. All right. So let's measure the axle now. All right, so we're working on the width outside to outside on the axles there. And I've got the tape across there. And we're correct already, 96 inches. So we're just going to leave it right there. And we're going to hit save. All right, so I'm in the camper. And the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and install this. So uh, the important thing about installing this that they say is that the arrows have to point up. Just make sure that you put the lid back on it properly when you put the battery on. The switch should be at the bottom. So this has to be mounted in a, in a spot so that this label is either pointing to the back of the camper or to the front of the camper. That's the front of our camper right there. Or it has to be mounted on either side pointing to the side like that. Okay. 
you can mount it anywhere you want as long as it's in that orientation i'm going to be mounting it on this wall right here this is where the switch panel is for our controls and i'm going to be mounting it actually over here and i'm going to show you why i was kind of debating whether up here or over to this side or even actually down there but i'm going to put mine right there and it's because whenever i go to turn this thing on when i get back in I've got these steps that I have to deal with because they're right here at the doorway. And this position will allow me to reach in through the steps and turn this switch on and then continue my leveling without having to remove the steps or disconnect them from the doorway. So we're gonna go right there with mine. So I'll simulate what I'm talking about. I get back into the campsite and I'm gonna come back here and I'm gonna open my door, okay? And you see how our steps are. They just swing in and then they attach right here with a little hinge. So what I wanna be able to do is turn this on without having to take these steps down. So I thought maybe down here might be okay, down here at the bottom, but the problem is we're always stacking stuff right in here at the doorway without having to go into the camper all the time if I wanna set some things in there, you know, in the evening time. And I don't want, I don't want things to bump it right there. But my next option would be right here. And you see I can easily reach in there and turn the switch on and then continue in my uh my leveling while i'm getting set up so i'm gonna mount mine right here using the two screws provided to screw it right into the wall it doesn't have to be absolutely perfectly level because you're going to calibrate it to the level of your camper but i'm just going to show you that you do want it you do want it kind of level so we've got one more screw to put in on this side and then we'll be done with our install as i mentioned i've already got this about as level as i can get it right here I've got a couple blocks down on this side that I drove up on. Uh, we've got other things that we can use to help level the camper, but that's gonna be a subject for another time. What I wanna show you is how I typically level this before getting this level make pro. So I've just got my standard carpenter level and this lives in the camper. I just keep it, I just keep it up in the front. And so when I start, I usually come back here and set it right in front of the doorway, just make sure there's no dirt underneath it and just get it level there. And you can see nice and level right there so this will be our front to back level and then you come inside the camper here and i just kind of come right inside the uh, living area and set it down and you can see i'm almost perfectly level right there so that'll be our side to side so we know that the camper is set up nice and level and then this this is what any you know a technique that anybody can use with their camper just take a standard level it doesn't have to be this big and just level it side to side and front to back all right now that we've got the uh the level mate pro installed we're going to go ahead and see if we can finish out our our uh calibrations here so let's see uh set level set vehicle level operation you are about to set the vehicle level proceed yes all right let's see label faces front using inches travel trailer save i think it's kind of going backwards here we may have to reset this save yes save all right let's see if there's any more we got to do here i'm trying to do this one-handed all right so there's there's some other settings that we're gonna uh, let me go through here and get this thing adjusted this is number of hours before level make pro select desired measurement resolution quarter inch half inch one inch inch and a quarter so i think we'll do uh, we'll just stick with quarter and see how fussy that's going to be uh save yes all right i finally got everything calibrated on the app right here it was pretty simple you just hit that little gear at the top and it just walks you through and then you have to save everything once you get it level now you can see front to back there it keeps bouncing around a little bit and that's i believe that's just because i'm in here walking but see it went to zero or a green there zero so it's just kind of moving around as i'm walking around in the camper so apparently uh whenever you go to back in the camper you open this app up you know or you turn that on first turn this on and then open up your app and as you're backing in this is going to show you how many inches you're off as you back in there and so you make your adjustments accordingly if you're real close you know you can just use your uh your little stabilizer jacks to you know get it get it within reason so anyway there we go 
we've got it installed and the next step is uh, once we get to the next campsite we will uh, once we get over to the next campsite we're going to be going over to Destin I've got a training class to do for a week we're going to be setting up at the uh, Camp Golf over there in uh, San Destin. So that'll be the first time I use it, and I'll show you. We'll open up the app, and we'll show you what it says, and uh, get the camper all leveled out using the uh, Level Mate Pro. Once we go to hook this thing up, what I'll do is use the uh, Save Hits position there at the bottom. Uh, we'll raise the tongue up to where it will clear the ball and get it hooked up and then once we get it to where it clears the ball we'll do the save hits position right there and that'll tell me whenever I go to lift this up all I could do is look at my phone and tell me where I need to be in order to back up without you know running into this right here and then it's also got a recall hits position so that once you have it saved uh, and you're level and you want to go hook the truck back up you hit recall recall hits position and then it will uh, that way you know where to set this thing at 